it going Caustic Warriors it's Lee here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a sweep filter effect within Caustic that you'll be hard pressed not to find in most modern day dance tracks so let's get started so first we need to generate some noise and there are two particular synths in Caustic which can do this you have the sub synth and the modulus synth for this particular tutorial I'm going to use the subsynth. So when we select the subsynth you'll notice that the default waveform is the sine wave within oscillator 1. However this is not what we want, we want to generate some noise or a noise wave so first we need to toggle through the different waveforms available. Now here we are, we're at the noise wave here. Now on its own it doesn't sound particularly nice and obviously the pitch does not change, it's the same throughout, however this is the effect that we want. So we want to go down to the piano roll and drop down a note and then we need to decide how long we want the effect to be. So I'm going to make this two measures. So we go to the note selection option up top and select times two for two measures long. You get a confirmation box there, just select yes. And then we're going to drag out the note all the way to the end to have exactly two measures in length for this particular effect. So next we want to go down to the sequencer and drop in the a1 pattern that we just created. Now this will play over two measures and stop at the end and we can work on the effect from here. So let me just select the song mode. As I said before it doesn't sound too interesting however we're going to next make it interesting. So if we go back to the sub synth Next we want to create a low pass filter and we do that within the filter area within the sub synth. We simply select the window within filter and the first option is low pass. So let's drag the cutoff slider from its highest point all the way down to its lowest point. And next let's automate this cutoff so it goes from its lowest point all the way up to its highest point over the two measures that we just created in the pattern A1. So if we hit record, then play, then automate the cutter. So the effect is really starting to take shape now. I'll just play it back one more time so you can hear it. However, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to automation. I like my automation to be as smooth as silk, so what I'm going to do is make some tweaks to that manual automation that I just carried out. So if we go down back to the sequencer, select the button top left, and toggle through, and we get to the filter cutoff automation window and as we can see there are many points that were registered when carrying out that automation now if I select the lasso tool what I'm going to do is select all these in the middle and get rid of them and then select a couple of the stray ones on the edges and now if I select the first automation point and drag it exactly at the start and then my second automation point and drag it exactly to the end of the two measures we should now have an extremely smooth filter automation so let's play that now watch the slider perfect to add some more polish to the effect we're going to use the mixer's built-in equalization area and effects to really give it some polish. So first let's 
let's get rid of the base, it's a bit unnecessary and let's drop a bit of the mid work range there and let's give it a little bit more sparkle at the high end next let's give it some delay um, give it about the same amount of reverb and uh, let's see how that sounds now pretty cool we could also add some width algorithm there just to give it a bit more of a stereo effect in fact let's go extreme with that and see how that sounds again pretty cool starting to sound nice and professional so just to finish off let's add a low frequency oscillator which is going to influence the cutoff within the filter so we go to the LFO1 area toggle through the various options until we get to cut off and there we have it let's leave the rate halfway the influencer will leave as a sine wave and let's up the depth to around halfway and let's give the effect a listen now so there you have it you should be well on your way to creating cool sweeping effects within caustic don't forget to experiment what I've shown you here is just the beginning what you can do within Caustic is incredible. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to check me out on SoundCloud for more Caustic tracks. I'll leave the link in the description. And I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.